If I use a tourniquet, that body part will be amputated. Loss of a limb from a tourniquet is very rare. In the US, in the last 10 years, there have been zero cases of loss of a limb from being left on for four hours, and very few loss of limbs from a tourniquet being left on for six hours. I can only help with a bleeding injury if I have sterile bandages. Infections can be taken care of at the hospital, but if they've bled too much before getting there, that's much harder to resuscitate them. So look and find what you have. Direct pressure, elevation, clothing, towels, anything works. I can take off a tourniquet or loosen it after a certain amount of time. A tourniquet should never be removed or loosened. A tourniquet should only be removed by a medical professional, including a doctor or a surgeon under medical imaging. Doing so can cause the clot to go to the heart or the lungs and cause the bleeding to resume. Remember, never take off a tourniquet. Knowing how to stop bleeding is not that serious. Uncontrolled bleeding is the number one cause of preventable death from trauma. I don't need a tourniquet. I'll just make one with a belt, a stick. Actually, you should not construct your own tourniquet. The Stop the Bleed campaign has researched and data shows that it is better for you to simply apply pressure and pack the wound. This doesn't necessarily have to be sterile gauze, but applying pressure and packing the wound will be the best. Do your part and take a Stop the Bleed class today.